this is what you live for. This is what you get up every morning and go to work, go run hard, go do exercise, do what you do. This is why you do all the hard things you do. And look at Mickey Ward, Gaddy's rival in three spectacular fights for the second consecutive fight. Gaddy brings Ward into the ring with him. What an amazing bond these two guys have forged. Anytime you fight somebody that many times and you have that tough of a fight with them, you have to know them better than they probably know themselves. Crowd is electric, Larry. He just, he just plugs them into the socket. Um, this built up very slowly during the night. All of a sudden, everybody came back from the refreshment stands. And this is what they want. Montreal, Northern New Jersey, Atlantic City, Vero Beach. They all claim him, as does the boxing public at large. Notable wins, twice over Mickey Ward, who even remembers that Ward won the first of their three unbelievable fights? Twice Gaddy outboxed, outboxed Tracy Harris Patterson. The losses, he was really totally outmatched against De La Hoya. And of course, twice against Ivan Robinson, the fight of the year in those instances as well. This could scarcely be a more exciting environment for a prize fight. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, courtesy of Bally's Atlantic City and Caesars Atlantic City, Main Events is proud to present 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Super Lightweight Championship of the World. Brought to you in association with Interbox and DeBella Entertainment and sponsored by Nemiroff, sanctioned by the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board Boxing Commissioner Larry Hazard Sr. The three judges at ringside scoring this contest on the 10-point system will be from Thailand, Anik Hongdongkam. From England, Larry O'Connell. From the United States, John Stewart. And when the bell rings, the man in charge of the action working inside the ring for the 34th time in a world title bout, your referee, Randy Newman. And now by way of Bally's and Caesars Atlantic City, for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing dark blue and officially weighing 139 pounds a two-time Olympic bronze medalist. And he now has a professional record consisting of 23 bouts without a loss, 22 victories, including eight knockouts with one contest even. He now lives and fights out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, originally from Floresta, Romania, the undefeated challenger, the former undefeated lightweight champion of the world, Leonard the Lion to And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing gray. His official weight, 139 and one quarter pounds. And his professional record stands at 37 victories, including 28 knockouts with six defeats. By way of Montreal, he now lives and fights out of Jersey City, New Jersey. The two-time world champion, the undisputed ultimate blood and guts warrior, the reigning, defending, WBC super lightweight champion of the world, Arturo Thunder.
Okay, gentlemen, you're both familiar with the rules as they've been thoroughly gone over. I want you to remember two things. I want you to protect yourself at all times. I want you to obey my commands, have a good, clean fight. Shake hands, come out of the belt. Two fighters as tough as a barrel of nails. Which one has the bigger hammers? Well, for a moment, it looked like Pat Lynch was never going to get Arturo Gatti's robe off, <laughs> and the fight was going to have to be delayed because of wardrobe malfunction. Unintended wardrobe malfunction. Again, Gatti wants to box. Doreen wants to go to war. Leo Doreen's best punch is his straight right hand. Gatti has a history of being painted by right hands. But Gatti's smart. He's starting out with his jab already, so he's starting out very smartly with this. He's the bigger, rangier man. Try to use his left hand to keep Doreen off of him all night. Doreen willing to take leather to step inside. Got it landed a good right uppercut when he was coming inside then too. And there you have it. Doreen, like I said, willing to take leather to step inside, gets hit twice to force Gaddy to the ropes and lands one big shot while he's in there. Arturo going to work with the left hand, jabbing and hooking both. I bet you this is the biggest fight of the ring of a space. And the biggest puncher. Which he acknowledged yesterday <laughs> in our meeting with him. Said he expected Gaddy to be the biggest puncher he'd faced, but he smiled when he said it. You know, uh, Roy, one of the medals he won at the Olympics was as a junior welterweight. When he moved down to the lower weight class, it was because he thought he could be more powerful as a smaller fighter. Now he's back up in the neighborhood where Gaddy's power will be an advantage for him. The good thing for Dorian, though, is that he does not rely on his power. For most of the first round, though, and we're two and a half minutes in, Arturo Gatti has managed to box effectively, keep Leonard Doreen from getting in. Doreen has only gotten to Gatti's ribcage a couple times. And there you see the plan as Arturo flurries and moves away. Break, you're tied, break. Doreen beginning to make his presence felt. Willing to dive inside to do it. Good round for Gaddy. He's trying to come over top of the, the, the jab with the right hand. So just stay nice and loose till you find your rhythm. The jab is keeping him on it. Just keep popping that jab. Just keep popping. Till you find the rhythm, baby. Very good round. Okay, he's going to try to get you in that slow. When you get inside, beautiful. Walk him around. Okay, the ring is so He's teasing you with the jab, okay? He wants you to lose your balance. This, sit down on your, on, your, on your leg, okay? Keep locking the jab, and he has a lazy jab. His jab is lazy. We can look over the top over the jab. Remember okay, that, okay? okay? With speed, you've got no uh -huh. speed now, okay? okay? Show me that speed, man. You are faster than this guy. Abuse of your speed. You listen to me? Come on, Some very interesting uh, conversation in the Reigns corner in which he said that uh, Gaddy's jab was lazy. It was not a stiff punishing jab, and that he could punch over it. Copybox finding Gaddy throwing 36 jabs in the first round, but only landing three. Copybox finding Doreen landing 10 of 36 punches, but Gaddy threw 61. Gaddy's not throwing his jab to land it, though. He's throwing it to throw it. To set up the rest of his arsenal. 
That's what a good fighter does. You start out with your jab and everything else works off. Frank, right, Frank, right, you're tired. Get out of there. Daddy's money punches his left hook. Punch, among other reasons, because he has so frequently broken his right hand. Four times to be exact. Five operations on his hands in all. And he's had trouble with the right hand in each of his last three fights. But of course, it never stopped him from throwing the punch. and creeping in and firing one left hook to the body. All right, all right, great. Tries to get I'm in another one. Back. Good. Marine showing you he's willing to take three or four punches to get inside and try to land one. If he can get that punch to the rib cage, he's at it. Good hook by the rib. Hook upstairs to try to set up the body punches. Another good hook by Doreen. He's quicker with the left hook than Gaddy expects him to be. Pretty good defense, too. Gaddy looking at his right hand already after Doreen gets inside and rips him with a hook. It looks almost as though Gaddy's worried that he's hurt his right hand again. He glanced at it twice. And it looked like it was after Duran hit his right hand with his own left hook. Exactly, Roy. It was not a it was not a punch landed uh, by Gaddy. Now, was... Gaddy trying to go to the body to back Doreen off a little bit. Doreen's starting to get the fight he wants. Blood trickling from his nose. Gaddy backs up to the ropes. Doreen stalking and stalking. Good left hook to the body by Gaddy. And Doreen goes down. What a tremendous shot. And Doreen may not, may Doreen not recover. He's not going to make it. Arturo Gaddy has knocked out Leonard Doreen with a body shot. A tremendous left hook to the body. We talked about the power difference. And that was just power knocking a man out. Power and precise punching. That was a very smart combination that he used to do that. He threw the one, two, three. Then he came back and followed it with the one, two, three and added a left hook to the body. That was beautiful boxing. That's about uh, the most decisive one punch body knockout since Roy Jones. Knocked out Virgil Hill <laughs> with, with a right hand body shot in New Orleans. That's right. And that was a case of bigger man, bigger punch. I'm not prepared to say that. I just think it was a precise punch uh, because when you look at the body of Doreen, he's as solid as anybody could be. He's just shorter than Gaddy. Um, I don't recall Gaddy ever knocking a man out with a body punch. Uh, he almost uh, broke Ward in half with a few, just as Ward almost broke him in half. Well, it's always been a primary weapon, the left hook to the body, but I don't know. I just have to believe that Leonard Doreen, having tasted 135-pound power, found 140-pound power from Gaddy a different trip. <laughs> All 13 Gaddy connects in the second round, according to Copy Box, where power connects. And here's another look at the knockout, Roy. He threw a one, two, three. Then he followed with a left hook because Durant had his hands up so high. And that really caught Durant off guard because he was expecting for Gaddy to either move out or throw another left hook. You see, he threw the one, two, three just to make him put his hands up. Then, boom, there goes the good body shot. Right on the liver. Right on the liver. Which freezes your legs, yes, right? Yes, it does. Freezes everything. <laughs> and that's why Durant wasn't able to get up because of the precision targeting of that left hook onto the liver. And if you look, he wasn't no way set for that punch. He didn't even drop his hands to block the punch. He never saw that punch coming. Those kind, are the worst ones. Kind of a delayed reaction, too. One, two, three, all to the head just to make him pick his hands up. And then there goes the beautiful body shot. And at that moment, you had to suspect that Doreen was going to pop back up, but he never regained his legs from the withering liver shot that Gaddy was able to produce. His manager, Pat Lynch, been with Arturo through all of his tumultuous career. 
And a big celebration for Gaddy. And let's go up to Michael Buffer for the official particulars on the KO. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at two minutes, 55 seconds of round number two. The winner by knockout victory and still the WBC Super Lightweight Champion of the World, the ultimate blood and guts warrior, Arturo Gotti. So instead of being the fight of the year, which many, if not most of us, expected, it becomes the easiest win of Arturo Gatti's entire long trip through the sport. And he was able to box for those two rounds. However, I think if we'd have gotten to the later rounds, he wouldn't have been able to con continuously box that way. But he was able to box.